How's it going, folks? Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. Today, guys, we are out here trying to catch us some crappie and later on, maybe some hybrid. Even if we don't catch nothing worth keeping today, I'm still gonna have a fun time fishing. Let's see if we can make something shake. Let's go. Hey, life is what you make it. That's like this, yeah, I swear that I would pay for. I got time, but I'm always moving too fast. So this summer, man, I swear I'm about to lay back. Hey. Summer man, I'm cooling on it low. I don't want no pressure, want no smoke. Here we go, guys. First crappy daffy of the day. Great balance. Just too small. Here we go. Let's go. Oh my gosh. I need to stop fishing after that one. I should never pick up a fishing pole ever again. That was such an aggressive bounce. I think it's because my drag was so loose. I mean, that was like, that could have been hybrid. If I was a crappie, I know it was a good one. I'm going down. Try to fish right going. Make it sit up. All right, sit up. It's just one real slow. There we go. Another little dinker. But hey, it's a fish. So. Check out that crappie. It is a good thick crappie. Look at that. That's what we fish for, guys. That's cool. Beautiful crappie. First fish in the basket. Let's go. If you stick us another good crappie, that was a solid one. That's what we're here for. We gotta make a crazy cast. Let me double cast them. Oh, I was fixing my drag. It never fails. That's fishing for you. I was literally fixing my drag. As soon as I touch my drag, I get bit. I don't know what I got. That's a good fish. Is that a crappie? Oh my god. I just lost him. But I got him back. Look at that crappie. Let's go. I lost him, but I got him back. He came off the hook. That is a beautiful crappie. A really good one, too. And the sunlight. What a beautiful white crappie. Let's see if we can catch some more. I thought my last one was good. I'm gonna put that one to shame, anyway. Let's go. It's been so long since I caught a good crappie. Forgot what it feels like to fight one. Or what they even look like. That's a good one. A crappie that jumps? That's a good fish. Here we go, guys. Another good crappie. Now that's what you're looking for. That's what you want your bait to do. Fun fact, guys, I actually made these baits. Well, here we go. That bait is literally gone. Let's go, guys. Type of fishing. 
can literally catch anything in the water. Walleye, hybrid, white bass, crawfish, bluegill, large crop, you name it. I've seen caught jigging before. I've even caught a flathead jigging before. I don't know what it is, it's something about watching that float get bounced. Mm -hmm. It's very satisfying. Another good crappie. Oh my goodness. This crappie's been caught before. Look at that eye. There we go, guys. Another beautiful crappie about to go in the basket. He's going back. Another dinker. Basket fish, no doubt. That's a good one. A good enough one. We're gonna do now is we're gonna take this bait off. I got a bait, same color different profile let's see if that help or hurt another homemade bait but like i said same exact color just a different profile let's see if this makes a difference that's a good fish whatever it is that's a crappie oh my god just lost another fish try again It's a good crappie. Stay on. Look at that. It's all right. Another fish to the basket. Let's go. We got five in there. One, two, three, four, three. We got five. Three of them are really good ones. Fish was shallow and in the sticks. Smallest crappie to go in the basket today. There's a couple units in there. Let's go. First time I've ever got a crappie on an all chartreuse bait. A dinker. Across the river from. Oh, oh, I got him back. Let's go. Got seven good ones in there. Five good ones. Two of them are pretty average. I think it's home.
he swimming at me? Is he small? He's just swimming at me. That's a good fish. You know, that's another decent crappie. All right, folks, I'm about to show you how to clean the crappie the easy way. First things first, you're gonna take your fillet knife. You're gonna wanna get under this fin right here and cut at this angle like this. You're gonna cut down until you feel the vertebrae. Once you get that vertebrae, you're gonna do is take your knife and turn it towards the back of the fish. Once you go down length of fish, you'll take this piece of meat right here, flip it over. After you get that piece of meat flipped over, you're gonna do is take your fillet knife, put it right here at the end of the tail, turn your knife flat against the skin, finish off the fillet. Now we have our fillet off of our skin. Only thing we have left is our rib cage, which is right here. Everyone, that's what you need your scissors for. Rib cage out, this is what you have left, a boneless skinless fillet, and that's how you clean crappie. And that's what you're looking for after you're done cleaning it. All right. How's it going, folks? It is 24 hours later. We've had our crappie soaking in salt water with a little bit of lemon pepper in it. What I'm gonna do now, I'll show you guys how far I'm up. Let's go. First things first, get some eggs, mix them up real good. Then my all time favorite, Louisiana, New Orleans style fish fry. This stuff is the best. It's my favorite thing to use. What I'm gonna do is put this in a bowl. What I'm gonna do now is add a couple of things to the breading. What I like to add is obey, cayenne pepper, black pepper, lemon pepper. You guys know I never use measure amounts. I'll just put it in there. A little bit of old bay, black pepper, cayenne pepper. Be careful with this. If you don't want it hot, I would suggest not using this. A little bit of lemon pepper. If you are wondering about the salt, always put salt on the end of when I'm frying something. The whole concept is that when you put the salt on at the end after something's done frying, it sticks a lot better. So we're gonna wait to the very end to put salt on it. So we are not deep frying this fish. We're gonna do a very shallow fry. So this is just enough to get a little bit at the bottom of the pan. That's all we're gonna do. We're gonna wait for this to get hot. We're gonna put our fish in our egg and then our breading. If you're wondering why this fish turned yellow, it's from where I had the lemon pepper in there and I had it in there just a little too long. I'm gonna take this, put it in our egg wash, get that fully covered, get the excess off, then go straight into our breading. This side and this side, you know, make sure that you get it fully covered. By the way, the drier your fish, the better this works. So I would highly suggest making sure your fish is very dry when you do this. We're waiting for our grease to get hot. One thing you can do is see if it's ready yet. You can take a pinch of your breading, drop it in there. If it starts to bubble up like that. Usually that means it's ready, but I want it to bubble up just a little more before I put mine in there. That's about what we're looking for. We want to start adding our fish. After you got your fish fully battered, fish, lay in your grease and make sure to lay it away from you so you don't accidentally splash it on yourself. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. I'm gonna do it and get the rest of these pieces of fish done and I'll get back to you when I'm done. All right, so this is what we're looking for right here. That's a little bit of a golden brown color. I do is take this off, lay it on a paper towel, and that's it. Once you've got the mission, when you are shallow, shallow frying something, that's not like deep frying, you just spin there and leave it. You have to make sure you flip it over so the other side can fry as well. All right, folks, this is our final product. Let's see what it tastes like. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't always have to add salt. Sometimes you will, majority of the time you won't. Obey is pretty salty by itself and I put quite a bit in there. With that being said, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Till next time, stay safe, stay healthy. Camel kid out. Peace. Hey, life is what you make it. That's like this, yeah, I swear that I would pay for. I got time, but I'm always moving too fast. So this summer, man, I swear I'm about to lay back. Hey, this summer, man, I'm cooling on the low. I don't want no pressure, want no smoke I just wanna chill up at the house And somehow still get money cause I'm broke Talk about the life I live I just wanna play my jams I just wanna hold you close Shout my praise like oh Bring out the vibes like this Days like every night Lay out on the beach Man, I love my life